Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our conclusion and our uh, decision on what factions we'll be playing for our Rome Total War 2 co-op campaign. Brody, do you want to you hit him with this? Alright, so we've listened to your comments and we've decided that the most popular, the most popular idea that we've come up with is the Athens and Sparta allegiance. Now Tom's going to go Athens, I'm going to go Sparta. Um, we're going to try and go north and you know, see what the Mac... Yeah. Yeah. We've had a look around at what Won't sort of strategies we want to yeah, employ. But um, due to the popular demand, should I... Um, oh yeah, you go ahead, you tell them. Oh, yeah. We'll probably be doing a second series, and we need your comments to support it, for another two factions, the most likely seeing, uh, seeming to be Rome and Egypt. So... But comment, comment if you want to see a second series along alongside the other one. We're still going to be posting the other one. It's just there's going to be two different ones going up around the same time, which I will tell you now. Episode one is going to be going up around 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time once the game's released and we've recorded and we've rendered it. Yeah. So keep an eye on your clock. There's going to be links in the description about where you can see the countdown timer and whatnot. But yes, comment. And tell us if you want to see another series alongside it, or you just want the one. And if you do want to see another series, what factions again? So remember to share this around. Subscribe, subscribe. Show Thumbs your love. this up. Thumbs it up. We're not trying to, you know, get you know a heap of views and a heap of subscribers and whore it out. We just want to see how many people are interested. So show it, show it to your mate and see if he's interested in it. Get him to subscribe to it, and then maybe he'll do the same. So yeah. Share it, around and we'll, um, we'll see you soon. We'll also, before we go, I'll just mention we'll also be doing a lot of historical battles and custom oh, yes. games. So, uh, if you no, want to I see mean, some of them, yeah. stick around. We've got Rome ready to go. So, uh, I've got the copy in my hot little hands here. I picked it up this morning, waited there at around 7 o'clock. Place opened at 9. I was the first in there. I was quite happy with that. <laughs> and get this. Okay, we'll tell them a little story. Get this right. <laughs> Brody's there. He's there to pick up the game at 9. Right, not many people. Not many people there at nine. H who was it? One other guy. One other guy. Some One other guy. This, some is, this is in fucking. <laughs> this is like the only EB games around to like Canberra, right? So I'm sitting there. There's one other guy. Okay, there's one other guy. Some I'm, freak. Some <laughs> fucking. Some fuck. I don't even know what he's doing there at nine a.m. I'm looking at him. He's looking on his phone. Looks like some ash lad. He's got some fucking weird hoodie t-shirt thing. It was a t-shirt with a hood. I mean, like fuck. I don't know what's going on here anyway. So. I walk in, the lady that works there at the EB game, she's lovely, didn't remember who I was, I've only been in there a million fucking times, but I, I, I could only assume she's just woken up, because I've been sitting outside yeah. the store watching her do stuff, and I've just been like, just want my copy of Rome. And the best just part is, when, she, when Brody walks in, she asks, what game are you here for? She asks, I was literally in there the day before, before she closed, and paid off the rest of it. Got there the next morning. She's, I was the last person she saw, and I was the first person she saw the next morning. She asked me what I want. I said, the Roman. I, she said, the standard edition? I said, yes, because I don't want the collector's edition, so I don't want to pay $250 yet. <laughs> I'm sitting there, and then I go out, and then, like, you know, I'm just, you know, putting my receipt in my wallet, and, you know, putting Rome in this little bag, and this one fucking guy behind me, I didn't, he didn't even speak a word to me, I said hi to him, he just gave me a nod, and was like, alright, well, fuck you then, and so I walk in there, and he follows me, and he's looking at some, you know, fucking, you know, happy tree friends, fucking adventure time, fucking merchandise, and he goes to the lady, I'd like to pre-order black, um, Call of Duty Ghosts. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing ordering Call of Duty Ghosts no. behind me, picking up yeah. Rome? Right? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, and also, uh, before we wrap it up, Brody, you were the first in Australia to pick up a physical copy? From EV Games, yeah. I was first in the... Um, Let's in be the honest, there's no competitor. So there's, No, there was, only, there was literally five people on the list, and it's a busy store, the one we go down to. Yeah. So, so like, yeah. I was the first on the register to be checked off, and I'm just like, sweet, mad, but guess what? The game doesn't unlock to 5pm. Yeah. Well, anyway, vote, thumbs up, subscribe. Hope you've enjoyed this little segment. Share it. Au revoir.